what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? It was a 4th of July to remember as David Wayans Jr. caused Twitter to explode with his tweet where he declared the 4th of July to be happy white people proud of their racist ancestors day. Bit harsh, right? But is there any validity to it? Is there any truth? Of course it is, because that's what's happening. The 4th of July is a celebration of American independence. 1776, black people were still slaves when the Declaration of Independence was signed. So we feel some kind of way about this whole situation, the 4th of July. I stopped celebrating the 4th of July years ago. And don't give me all that patriotic stuff. There's a distinct parallel between patriotism and racism in America. Racist people, they are very, very easy to trigger when you start talking about race and you start talking about racism. They're very, very sensitive because they don't need you putting out the information about what they did to get to where they are. It's like they don't mind laughing and joking about the privilege that they have, the dirty deeds that their ancestors did. Oh, they have a good old time laughing about it in private, but don't speak of this in polite company. Don't say it publicly. Somebody might catch on to what we did to get to where we are and get to where we where we are right now and what well, we continue to do the things that we we did back then to the things that our ancestors did you see see this is why a lot of people get upset they ain't upset about the truth they upset about the truth being told publicly being spoken publicly publicly that's what they don't like this dude damon wins jr i mean that youngster put it out there It seems that some people can't take a joke. And here's something funny. Many of the people who laughed at the Steve Harvey slave joke, they ain't had no problem with that. They're offended by uh, uh, Junior. They're offended by Damon Wayans Jr. making the comment that he made, which was absolute truth. They're offended by that. Man, the hypocrisy is real. Many Americans view this country with rose-colored shades. They refuse to hear people even just talk about the truth, what the truth is. Now, they don't mind benefiting from that truth. They don't mind being compensated from that truth. But they don't want you talking about it. Because to talk about it would mean that 
they probably didn't get whatever they got right now fairly. You see? And they don't want to admit that. They don't want to admit that. To the ones who ain't got no problem with it, saying, man, this is what it is. You ain't lying, Willie D. You telling the truth, man. That's what it is. I, I ain't going to lie. You know, if, if, I, if I ain't had this complexion, man, it'll be a whole lot harder on me. I'm, I'm just going to say what it is. Hey, man, salute to you. But the rest of y'all, man, I'm just letting you know, man, I know what time it is. America, the, the, the first people who came here from Europe, they came here with a criminal element. They were the original criminals in America. They were the original people who came here with diseases, killed off the Native Americans, took their land and made them to be savages to the rest of the world. I remember my silly ass watching television when I was young. My mama used to watch these cowboy and Indian movies all day long. And we'd be rooting for the cowboys because the cowboys were the good guys and they were Americans and the Indians were savages. It took me into my late teens before I realized the cowboys were the damn savages and the Indians were the good guys because the cowboys came and infringed on the Indians' rights. They raped, they murdered, they pillaged community after community after community, and they projected the image of Native Americans to be savages worldwide. And they had us all fooled with that propaganda machine called television, and they still projecting these certain images out there. Like they, they, the same thing that they did to the Indians, they're doing it to black people where they're projecting this image, this negative image about black people. And this is all we are. And they very, very, very seldom show black people in a positive light. So I can see why somebody who haven't really been around the black experience don't really understand Black people don't have black friends or stuff like that. Never been in a live, work with black people or really been in a black community. I can see why they would feel that way if all they see is these savage images or uh, they are uh, all they see is the worst segment of the black community. I can understand why they feel that way because I too fell victim to that damn foolishness. So it's always a beautiful thing to me, man, when somebody counter it. Anytime somebody can offer an alternative to what they're doing out here in mainstream media, trying to make everybody else look bad and trying to make themselves look great like they're perfect, yeah, yeah, I'm going I'm to I'm salute that. I'm going to give that props. I'm always taken aback when I see people in America who, have a, who call themselves patriots. They're so patriotic. I'm always taken aback when they start talking about getting rid of illegal immigrants. White Americans were the original illegal immigrants in America. See, people don't want to talk about that. See, that's the truth. See, and, it's, and I understand now why people say the truth hurts, because it does. The truth hurts a lot of people, it hurts. But it also shall set you free. The truth shall set you free, man. And it's okay, man, because like we know the truth. The, the truth is out now. So it's nothing you can do to deny. You can lie and be in denial, but we know what the truth is. So you may as well just say, you know what, man? All right, you got it. You right. You right. You ain't lying. I, okay. I don't like, I ain't like what you said. I ain't, I ain't like it, man. But you know what? At the end of the day, you're right. But see, that's too much like right. 
But that's a good start. If we can get a good, a good start would be to just admit you're right. You're right. Tried to be in denial. I'm trying to hold on to it. Just like being right about Donald Trump, being a racist. Man, go ahead and say it, man. The reason why you voted for Donald Trump was to up because Donald Trump, you knew that Donald Trump was going to do everything in his power to uphold white privilege. That's why you voted for Donald Trump. That's why. There's no other reason why you would vote for a dummy. No other reason why anybody would vote for such a crass dude, like a, a dude with that's so uncouth that has, I mean, this is the president of the United States and every time he gets upset, he goes on Twitter and explodes. That is not how a dignified person carries themselves. That's not how a dignitary carries himself. No, this dude, I mean, he's basically trash. That's what he is. People with racist views, they upset about the tweet. Those are the ones who are really upset about the tweet. Ain't nobody else really tripping on it because they know it's the truth. When you saw it, you got you just got to say, ha, ha, ha. You got to laugh at it. You got, oh, damn, he went there. He said it. Everybody, even the people that don't like the tweet, they know he's not lying. So if you know he's not lying, why are you upset? If you know he's not lying, why are you upset? And if he is lying, why aren't anybody saying he lying? He's lying. You know, when you tell a lie on somebody, they're quick to correct you. Why hasn't anybody corrected him? Why is it that the only kind of tweets that you see people putting out there is stuff like, well, you uh, go back to Africa. You don't like it. Oh, you're such a scum. Uh, get deported and all these kind of all this kind of stuff. Why is these, all, all of the attacks are just personal attacks, but there's no facts? Why is anybody denouncing this so-called tweet as a lie? Uh, uh, not so-called tweet, but denouncing this tweet as a lie. Why? Because they know it's the truth, and the truth hurts. So that's why they're busting back at them like that, because the truth hurts. That's what it is. I'm going to leave you all with this question. If America is, I'm going to put it like this. Why is it that the country that screams freedom the most, why is it that the country that screams, screams freedom the most has the highest rate of incarceration in the entire world? One thing I will tell you, the hypocrisy is very consistent. No more talk. What, what, what the haters talking about? Yeah. Order, Texas.